to help our parents and our students at home to maintain some normalcy. We opened up hashtag Jackal pop up classes on our YouTube channel, free of charge, and dig into our visual art archive to feature more artists online. Our hashtag Jackal American Stories is created to collect artist stories to share with you online. Many of our programs are now living on our website at www.jcal.org. We continue to work with artists on figuring out how to feature their work in these digital platforms and how we can continue serving artists and the community in the new digital world. Tonight is our last concert for the season, featuring beautiful Sarna Alexa. The second Thursday Night Jazz series is created in partnership with the Jazz Gallery to bring the American music, jazz, to home. We had some success, and we were so happy to see our regular kids coming back on every second Thursday night. I hope you are still checking in online and following us on our social media. We are working hard to keep arts and culture alive and thriving in Southeast Queens. We thank you for your support and trust us that we will be back soon. With that said, I hope you will sit back and enjoy the music tonight. Thank you. Um, I'm very, very happy to be with you here um, from my studio in Jackson Heights in Queens. Um, this is part of the Thursday Night Jazz Series that the Jamaica Center for Arts and Learning has uh, in conjunction with the Jazz Gallery. And uh, this is actually one of those rare performances that was booked before the pandemic hit. And um, thanks to the Jamaica Center thinking outside of the box, um, they decided to keep the show and do it as a live stream. So I'm very, very excited um, to be here and also to be performing a solo show for you. Um, what I'm doing tonight is playing uh, tracks from my uh, latest album, which is called Ona. It means she in Croatian. Here, I have a copy right here. Um, and, you know, I was supposed to be on the road right now promoting this album, which came out March 27th. Um, just in time. <laughs> and, um, and so what I wanted to do tonight was figure out a way. One, two, there we go. Uh, what I wanted to do tonight was figure out a way that I could recreate some of these songs as if I were on the road, um, just using my looping and effects pedals. Um, so basically I'm gonna be creating layers of vocals, harmonies, percussion, um, pads, soundscapes, you name it. I'm gonna basically do my version of uh, some of what's on this album. Uh, and uh, yeah, wish me luck. <laughs> um, so just to give you a little bit of background, again, my name is Tana Alexa. I don't think I said that yet. Um, and um, the album that I came out with is called Ona. Ona in Croatian means she, it means a woman. And the album is basically the exploration that I took in my own life of finding the wild woman inside of me and setting her free. And more generally, the album speaks to celebrating the lives of women, the experiences of women, the emotions of women, basically what we are, how we are, who we are, how we feel, uh, the relationships that we have. It's, it's really going deep into the female psyche. Um, and the reason that I decided to call it Ona in Croatian and also on this first track, which I'm about to play for you, um, I decided to write the lyrics in Croatian and in English. And the reason that I did that was because I wanted to really celebrate the two women in my life who have been the most prominent in terms of my own development and the reason that I am the way that I am, and that's my mother and my grandmother. My mother, she's first generation American, and so with her I speak English. Um, and with my grandmother, who is born and raised in Croatia and came here um, after um, she escaped communism, um, 
with her I speak exclusively in Croatian. So I wanted to join the two most prominent female voices in my life and the teachings that they've taught me throughout my entire life and turn those into lyrics. And uh, just to give you a little bit to think about, the lyrics that uh, are at the beginning of the song are Ona se bori, nikad neće sedati. Ona se bori, nikad neće sedati. And that means she fights, she'll never give in. She fights, she'll never give in. Again, this is going to be Ona. It's available on Bandcamp and all streaming platforms. And hope you enjoy. And you 
enjoyed that. That was Anna. Um, <coughs> whew. Ah, you know, it's really a, a crazy experience to do something alone in a room <laughs> with nobody here. And I know that you're watching, but nobody's here in the room with me, but I can hear you guys. Oh, yay, yay. I'm clapping. <laughs> um, so here we go. This next song um, is one that I wrote for my best friend, actually. Um, I wrote this for my best friend for her wedding. Um, she and her husband have an incredible um, story, a love story of how they just jumped head first, feet first, everything first into love and believed in what they had and didn't listen to any of this supposed to chatter that uh, usually surrounds any one major decision in your life. Um, and uh, they have a beautiful story, and I wrote this for their wedding. Um, and they got married in one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. It's a town in the northern part of Peru called Cocachimba. And basically, uh, my friend Crystal, she told me, you know, I would love for you to sing at the wedding, but I don't know, you know, 
sometimes when it rains, the electricity goes out. You know, we're in the middle of nowhere. There, the the town sits in a little valley, and it looks over the third longest free-flowing waterfall in the world called the Gokta Waterfall. It was an absolutely beautiful sight, but she was worried about the electricity, about, you know, power outages, all this stuff, and so she said, you know, I, maybe you should prepare something that you can sing a cappella. And so I was thinking about it, thinking about it, and then I decided to write a song that I would be able to teach to everybody at the wedding. So there are two parts, and I would invite you to sing them with me. Um, uh, <laughs> let's see. So this is the first part. One, two, three, two, two, three. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Very simple. Part two. One, two, three, two. Do 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 do. Very similar and yet just slightly different. So when I get to the part where you, the wedding party, <laughs> are going to um, to sing this, I'll put up number one and number two, and I'll guide you through it. And I hope that you will sing from home with me. So this is he said she said. It is also on my Anna album, and I had the great fortune of recording this song with the amazing Becca Stevens. She was singing charango and ukulele and uh, singing with me, and it was a, a really beautiful experience. So, he said, she said. Quite as you would expect it 
Thank you so much. That was He Said, She Said. Um, okay. Let me get set up for this one. Woo! How are you all doing? You guys still, you, you, you with me? All right. <laughs> okay. Oops. It is just so, whoop. Whoop. Nope, not that one. There we go. It is just so strange to do this. <laughs> I mean, I love the feeling. I, I, it's, it's, a, it's a really bizarre feeling because I feel like I am performing live and you are watching me, but it's just such a different kind of experience. Um, and I know it must be a very different kind of experience looking at, looking at this and knowing also that it's being done live and that it's not edited and all of that stuff. So, hmm. Um, the next tune um, I'm going to do is uh, an arrangement of an arrangement. Um, I took one of my favorite songs by Massive Attack, an incredible band, um, and the song is called Teardrop. And I arranged it uh, for my album, Ona, um, and I rearranged it to be able to do it with this setup right here. Um, and, you know, the reason that I decided to put this song in particular on the album is not because it's about a woman or the life of a woman, but it is a. It does give me the experience of a woman. Um, one of the experiences and feelings that I delve into very deeply on the record is the feeling of a woman's sexuality, and that is something that is very taboo and very, you know, not talked about because women's sexuality is usually supposed to exist for the purpose of purposes of somebody else as opposed to women are sexual beings. Um, and Teardrop is just one of those songs that makes me feel sexy. So this is Teardrop. Tum 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 te tum tum te tum tum te tum te tum te tum 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 Tum, 
<laughs> when too many things <laughs> too many buttons too many buttons i hope you enjoyed that that was teardrop by massive attack rearranged for the second time by tana alexa um the next tune that i prepared for you um is not on my record um I did this actually with my husband, who's an incredible uh, drummer, Antonio Sanchez. Um, we did this for a live show, um, well a live stream show, um, just around the time when the peak of the virus had was in New York and there were a lot of deaths and it was just a very, very dark time. Um, and I decided to actually rearrange our arrangement so that I could do it uh, by myself with this, um, <coughs> with this setup and I think you'll know the song, so I won't tell you what it is. Um, I'll just say that it's for our beloved New York, for all of our New Yorkers who have been being strong throughout the pandemic, who have gone out to protest and made their voices heard, filled the streets with love and with support. And um, we really love New York. I love New York, and so this is this is for New York. a holiday from the neighborhood Hop a flight to Miami Beach or to Hollywood But I'm taking a greyhound on 
beautiful New York, my lovely New York. Ah. Oh, all right, well, we've come to the last tune of this set. 
Um, I'm so happy that you have been here with me this evening. I want to thank again the Jamaica Center for Arts and Learning and also the Jazz Gallery um, for putting this together, for not canceling, and for keeping the music going. It's so, so important. And um, I'm also very happy to support our wonderful borough of Queens. Um, it's a beautiful borough filled with so many people from so many places, so many languages, cultures, religions, everything and uh, music food and um and so it's a it's a a special place that i get to uh, a special place in my heart that i get to uh, do this for the jamaica center um and uh, i'm going to close this set with um this is really the song that started everything on my ona album i'm just gonna bring that up one more time um, this is the song, the very first song that I wrote. Um, it's called The Resistance. And I wrote it right after I came back from attending the Women's March in 2017. And I have never done this uh, solo before, <laughs> full, <laughs> full disclaimer. Um, however, I thought it was very important to do this song today, right now, in the situation that we're in. I think it is so incredible that the world, not only the country, but the world has gotten together to protest the police brutality and the absolute unfair justice system that we have against black Americans in this country. And we need to resist. We need to resist. We need to vote. We need to vote in November. That is what we need to do. Um, and I just couldn't think of any other appropriate way to end this set than to play this song because I have wanted to play it for so long and I didn't want not having a band to stop me. Um, so this was the first song that catapulted this entire journey, my Ona journey. Um, and one of the things that made this song so special on the record was that um, I had a very special guest perform on this song, uh, an incredible poet, spoken word activist named Stacy Ann Chin. And she actually took a segment of a poem that she wrote for the Black Lives Matter movement, um, which is on a book that she just released called Crossfire, a book of poetry, which is also available. You can purchase it online, Stacy Ann Chin. And uh, I've never recited her poem before. Um, and tonight I'm going to. Um, usually there was just a solo section when we would do this live, but her words ring so true and they're so important that I felt they needed to be heard. Um, so I hope you check out Stacey Enchin. She is an incredible force, an incredible voice, uh, and a powerful leader. And you will hear that later in the spoken word that I will recite. So once again, Thank you so much to the Jamaica Center. Thank you, Rio, from the Jazz Gallery for putting this together, this collaboration with the Jamaica Center for the Arts and Learning. Um, if you would like to purchase any of the music that you heard tonight, it is on my Bandcamp page, Tana Alexa Ona, and um, this is The Resistance.
Tudum, 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 Tudum,
Don't let self-doubt turn to self-sabotage. We the people will restore. Free body, free mind, free world. All time, not time. With liberty and justice only for some. So be wild, be wise. Evil only seeks to divide. We must rise outside. Revolutionize our minds. Only the dead can see the end. Why can't we learn from our mistakes? Our Bible shed, divided conflict. This is their plan. They for man, so we just fall. Your son has said so. Tax keep your ratings low. If we're to come together now, rise up before they shoot us down. No building walls between our friends. Find your own uterus, my man. I am one, man. Hear me roar. Okay, thank you so, so much. That was The Resistance, composed by myself, Tana Alexa. I want to thank you all so much for being with me this evening. Um, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for listening to this music, to this rearranged version of this music. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. Um, please follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tana Alexa, T-H-A-N-A. And again, the album is Ona which means she, and it's available on all streaming platforms and my band camp for purchase. Thank you all so, so much. Thank you to the Jamaica Center for Arts and Learning. Thank you to the Jazz Gallery. And uh, thank you to all of you. Good night.